Hey guys, got a pretty infected machine here as you can see. I'm starting to boot up into safe mode because the actual system won't load. I've tried everything. It won't boot up at all, just locks up. And uh, I know there's Trojan Ransom on there and some other stuff that's stopping it uh, going. It keeps asking me for a new Windows license key. So what I'm going to do is reboot into a, a pre-installed environment Windows Live CD or something like that. See if I can delete some of the actual files before I actually see if I've got a chance to boot up. So I'm going to actually reboot the system and see how we fare. Okay, so I'm going to reboot the system into my Windows Live CD. See if I can manually delete some of these files to make the system boot before I run any sort of other programs like malware bytes. Super Anti Spyware, maybe uh, we can run uh, a bootable ISO like uh, Kaspersky or something like that to remove some of the other stuff. So I just want to load this up. I'm going to let this load in first. Okay, it's just loading the uh, network drivers in, as you can see. So once we've done that, we're actually on the desktop. So from here, what I want to do. He's just going to the C drive here and see what we've got. Now what I'm looking for I'm going to go into local settings application data, just have a little look in these little areas here I go back. Okay, I can see some uh, stuff that's just been created, as you can see. And what I'm looking for is the 13th of the 3rd, 2011. These files have just been created, and that means they're more than likely viruses. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to delete some of these. As you can see, tool.exe, that's definitely a virus. So, this is the way you want to start manually removing files. Now you don't have to do them manually but sometimes it's easier to do this in a pre-installed environment because the system is so slow or it won't boot. So I'm just gonna crack on with these and delete some of these here. Again these are definitely viruses I can tell because there's no files on the system that will be looking like that and that's small with that name especially with files like that with .exe so I should just delete these delete the folders okay so what I want to do now is go back and I want to go into local settings and application data or temp first let's have a look in temp now we can see a bat file there as you can see that's definitely a virus because it's on the date there we're looking for the date modified and all these can go and you can see there's nothing file types that are going to have these these are definitely viruses or trojans so we're going to delete all these just saves a lot of time okay so let's have a look there you can see a lot of rubbish inside here So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to leave these for now, come out, go and have a look in Windows, just get rid of that.
come down to uh, okay so let's go back to Windows now okay so let's look in Windows I'm gonna come down see when all these have been added so I'm gonna get rid of that it just looks a bit suspect to me and uh, let's say VG it says I'm just gonna get rid of it it's no problem so the next thing I want to look for prefetch we'll have a look in there we're going to get rid of some of this stuff in here well as a matter of fact all of it and uh, pretty much going to system 32 Let's have a look here, see what we can find. And then we'll give it a reboot and see. Now this doesn't look good. This file here. You can see it's got a zero there. Zero KB. It was created on the third of the thirteenth, two thousand eleven. All the rest are old. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna be moody. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. Next thing we want to do. I think I'll call that a day on that one and uh, see what we've got here tool wise maybe give um, some cleaning or something like that Okay, I've took the liberty to uh, start to download Malwarebytes. I'm still in my pre-installed environment on my live CD and I'm just gonna... Okay. Uh, it's not gonna install. Okay, so that won't install. But that's okay. So let's try and reboot anyway and see how we go. So let me just sort this out and then get a reboot again and see if she boots up okay so let's see if she fires up if she does we can then start to download some other programs if we still got problems we may need to go back in there and remove some other stuff but as you can see this is by removing manually we've managed to get this far so far so let's say you remove malware manually now you also need to remember we had this pro problem on there as well which is called uh, Trojan Ransom and we'll need to deal with this now so we'll need to go back into that environment and uh, wipe this off and we can do that in a number of ways so what we're going to do is reboot the system again and get rid of this now this is pretty tricky to get rid of but we will get rid of it so I'm going to just restart now I thought maybe this had gone but you can never know but we got rid of a lot of stuff this wasn't booting just a minute ago so we've done pretty well so far so the first thing I want to do is try to go into safe mode first to see if this disables this program if I may have deleted enough of the program already it may well let me load into safe mode now I know sometimes you can't get into safe mode with this type of program it even still loads there so we'll just have to wait and see if it doesn't then I'll have to go back into some sort of bootable uh, removable CD and finish off that way so let's have a look we'll soon find out 
sometimes by just disabling just enough it will allow me to get to where I need to be we'll try malware bytes first seems like it's letting us do this now and maybe because I've deleted a load of that stuff already now I have actually seen that Trojan Ransom before and it's pretty tricky sometimes so you've just got to be a bit careful by deleting that manually like that it's managed to get to safe mode and let me do this sometimes it won't let you do it so I just need to install this program okay while I'm doing that downloading that I just want to also get this program here from Kaspersky Trojan Ransom it will actually remove it it says so we'll give that a blast as well so I'll just let that go So what I want to do is just give that a go. So we'll just leave this running now. I'll pause this at that stage. Okay, so it's not found anything there. That's good. be a different variant but we'll give it a go with malware bytes okay I'm going to perform a quick scan first just to lighten the load a little bit see what it finds and then we'll do a full scan if need be okay so let's have a little look here we've got 27 infections as you can see some nasty ones on there that's the uh, fake alert so I'm going to remove those now and then I'll restart ok let's try and restart into normal mode now see if we have actually removed that virus that looks like a virus there let's get rid of that one Okay, there's no sign yet but what I would do is do a full scan of that so of that uh, software okay so that's the scan now finished found seven more now someone asked me a question the other day on the forum and said that you don't need to full scan all you need to do is a quick scan well that's wrong you do need to do a full scan if your quick scan shows uh, viruses and the reason why is because there's always stuff left behind so what we'll do is we'll get rid of this and this is in the system volume as you can see here and we're going to remove all those get rid of that and it wants to restart so I'm going to quickly restart ok so what I'd do now is I'd actually do a scan with Gma to find any uh, hidden rootkits on here or root repeal something like that and I'll check this file out here this looks a bit suspect so I'd have a, an investigation into that I can always right click and delete this file if I wanted to but I would check it out first um, I'd also do a quick scan with uh, Super Andy Spyware make sure everything's okay there uh, it's coming up okay as you can see and once I've done that I would finally do a full scan online with Bitdefender and that would be it really so and I would say that machine would be then clean so I hope you enjoy these videos if you do remember hit the subscribe button show your support there guys and uh, if you like these sort of videos get on the forums